said she running away She said she can't take it no more, no So she ran away, yeah. She can't love him what she want Hi, y'all If you guys want to see how I turn my old living room Into this new look How I created this wall unit And turn that beauty into this then stay tuned for the next two videos in this video you're gonna see how I accomplished this and then in the second video you'll see how I decorated it now who remembers my cereal rug that I got for a fraction of the price guys always remember to shop smart not expensive I got this for under a thousand dollars okay guys so here's the remote and it has as you can see on it it has different functions that you can do like you can make the lights i've already made them brighter you can dim in them some you can um see i'm brightening it up like that i can have them go on and off and i can change the speed i can make them blink like christmas lights if i want to Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do in preparation for um, the wall is we have to remove the O. So what I'm removing right now is my fireplace mantle. So I'm removing the old mantle and this sucker was hard to take off. It was so hard that I almost called in the male help. But guess what this female did? She kept at it and kept at it and I stood there trying to figure it out. And I kept at it and I kept on and kept on until I got that sucker off. <laughs> to me, that was one of the hardest parts to do because it made me feel like giving up. So after I got that off, of course, you know, I have to sweep. I have to clean up. I was trying to keep the place um, clean as I go. I like my construction sites to stay clean. The biggest, biggest mistake I made was not putting down my brown paper, as you will see in the end. Happy New Year to one and all. 2022, the year of the outstanding. Hi, guys, and welcome back. For those of you who have seen me for the first time on this channel, we do interior design, we do vlogging, and we do some DIYs. So if that is what you're looking for, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Now guys, let's get into this video. So what I'm doing right here now guys, is I am trying to find the studs in the wall. So I'm using my stud finder to do that. Why, the reason why I'm doing that is because like you saw, if you look at my old video, my other video, sorry, where I added a fireplace in my bedroom, you'll see where I put one by sixes on the wall and those were adhered to the studs so that when I'm, I'm applying the, um, my framing, I don't have to worry that my framing is not going to fall where a stud is. And to do this whole project, I use the three inch, um, screws. I got these screws from Home Depot. Um, I did buy some from Ace, but those were not working good with the drill. I have a very powerful drill and the drill was keep rounding up the head. They weren't working good at all. This particular one, the head of this, these is a, is not a Philip or, um, you would call it, but it was like a, a five star, um, piece. So it was, you know, I didn't have that problem with it working. Okay. okay so this is the stud that i'm about to put up the the framing i'm about to put up right now so i need to build two of these and they're gonna both go up on the side each side of the fireplace so i just measured from the floor up and since it's gonna fall on top of the base of the fireplace it needs to be 95 inches so i'm gonna cut each one of these two by fours 94 inches 
So I want the finished product to be um, off the wall 15 inches. I want my depth to be 15 inches. So I have to figure out what that 15 inches is, right? Now, a two by four is not really two by four. It's one and a half by three and a half. So if I have half inch here, half inch here, that's an inch. So I need to subtract that inch from my 15 inches. So I already subtracted from the 15 inches. Then I have um, the one by six that's on the wall. It's not really one, it's not really an inch thick. It's actually three quarters thick. So I have three quarters plus the drywall that I'm using is half inch. So three quarters and half inch is one and a quarter inch, right? So we have one and a quarter inch. I just realized I made a mistake. One and a quarter inch. So therefore these pieces that needs to go in the middle right here, they need to be 12 because remember I want this to be 15 inches. So they need, this needs to be 12 and a quarter because I have um, half inch here, half inch here, and then this is 12 and a quarter, and plus we already have three quarters on the wall would give us 15 inches. Now I need one of my studs, one of these cross pieces to fall at, um, to hold the cabinetry at center. So when I place this in between here, I need one of them, which is gonna be this one, it needs to be at 30 inches at center, okay? And that's because I need that strength when I connect the cabinets to the wall, plus I need a stud to, to, to connect it to on the side as well, okay? So that is where these measurements came up. Now, the one by sixes that we put on the wall, those do not need to have uh, measurements in terms of their location. They are just there to connect to a stud because where we're about to place the one by fours, there's not gonna be a stud there. And this, those are gonna be what is going to adhere the entire piece to the wall, okay? So now we're about to build um, these pieces. So here what I'm doing is I am marking out how, um, where I want to place my, uh, the frames that is gonna go inside. I don't necessarily have to mark it, but um, I'm doing it because of my cabinetry. I'm putting some cabinetry to the bottom and those have to, I don't want to have to try to find a stud in the wall for those, but to connect them to the fireplace part of the piece, I need a stud to be in that area. So I had to measure that out where that stud is gonna be located as I explained previously. So guys, we had an African movie playing like I always do. And my kids always talk smack when I'm listening to my, Af watching my African movies. However, this young man right here could not work because he keeps stopping and staring at the TV and would get lost into the storyline. And I will keep having to like tell him like, dude, we trying to do something here. So it was very hard building this with him, but I cannot work and not have some kind of music playing or movie playing or whatever. So I couldn't even like say, okay, let me just turn it off. I can't work like that. But he made it so difficult and made this thing take so long to do because um, of his constant distraction with um, the TV. So after I had measured out how long I wanted those to be, um, and now I'm placing them in it was so hard. I don't know why this time it was hard drilling them like when it's flat on the floor um, I think when I was doing it upset I had it elevated or something, but it was pretty annoying building these this time um, Yeah, it, it was it was annoying So you want to try to use two screws at all time the reason why you use two screws is because if one screw if something that can spin, that piece of wood in the middle can spin, but if you have two screws separately in going into it, it can't spin. If you understand what I'm trying to say, like if there's one screw and you hit it too hard, it can go and it will turn, it'll be able to turn, okay? So now what we're going to do is, we, this is the main wall, so we're gonna add that to the one by sixes. So we're gonna screw it into the one by sixes. I did make a change in the end. I wanted, those um 
those framing that I am putting up that I just um, put up made those I wanted those to be at the end of the one by six but because I, I knew I had this cubby that I was putting on each end when I measure I something told me to go and measure the vases that I had bought for those areas and I would those would have been too tight in that space so I had to move everything in on each side I had to move it in I think it was about two and a half inches so that I would have enough space on when uh, for my finished prop and you will see where I cut those down um, after so right now this framing that I am making is the face so this is like where the TV um, face is gonna be and then where the fireplace face is gonna be I already have a built-in fireplace in this area so it's not like upstairs where I'm going to be adding an electronic fireplace so this particular video is a good video for you guys who have a built-in fireplace already that uses wood and everything you have your chimney and all of that but you don't like how it looks flat you want to add some flavor to it this um, design is a pretty good design that you can use um, to kind of spruce up your fireplace um, that you have you don't want it to be flat you want to add some character to that's your space okay so guys as you can see this is what I did for my Christmas so I actually decorated on Christmas Eve is when I was finished so after we got back from Dubai I started this project and um that's why I've been so busy you guys wasn't getting videos from me because I wanted to get these things done and this is what I wanted to give myself for my Christmas I didn't want to put any Christmas tree up I didn't want to decorate I just was not in the mood for that I'm like totally in the mood for um, upgrading my home uh, I, a lot of stuff I've had a lot of ideas this wall design that you're gonna see I literally if I can find the image I will put it in my um in this um I would show it to you guys but when I first purchased my home six years ago I did a 3d model of how I wanted this wall to look how I wanted my living room to look the living room looks just like how I did it in a model but the this is the um this wall I never got it done because I I thought it was gonna be too expensive to do um, I wasn't seeing the finances I didn't think that I could do it by myself so here I am taking on the challenge and doing it by myself you can do all things all things that you put your mind to you can do it okay so I'm basically here I'm showing you guys the framing It's just like I did upstairs I did the same type of framing except for my fireplace already existed the good thing about this is my TV, nothing carries weight here. My TV don't carry weight on this framing. My fireplace don't carry any weight on this framing. This framing is just up for me to create a facade around my TV and around my fireplace. That's the purpose of this framing. It doesn't carry any weight. Nothing heavy is hanging on it, except for this, the part that's gonna go across on the ceiling is gonna connect to that outside of that my tv is still mounted to my wall my fireplace is recessed into my wall so it does not carry any weight at all it's just a facade so here what i am doing is i am building a toe kick so this is what you will call a toe kick my cabinetry that i'm using i got them from home depot these are wall cabinets the base cabinets were too deep and they all had drawers i couldn't find any that didn't have a draw so i got the wall cabinets which is only these were only they didn't have the 15 inch in stock they only had the 12 inch and i was tired of waiting so i went ahead and i got me four of the 12 inch deep and what i am doing now is i'm adding a toe kick so I build this frame around for the, this is going to be for the bottom. So it's going to elevate up off the floor two inches. And you will see how that looks when I am finished. And what I was trying to do too is leave them in the boxes as long as possible. They did come with a plastic 
on them to protect them and I left that on till I was completely finished. So here you see how they're elevated off of the floor. So because they didn't have what I want, I made what I want. So guys, if you see something, that does not mean, like you, you don't see what you're looking for, but you see something that can work, you can make it work. And that's what I did. I made this work by adding the toe cake. So up on the top, I've already added the piece that's gonna go across on the top. That will basically be the soffit that goes across on the top. So I did it on this side and I'm going to repeat it on the other side. I had to put the cabinets in place because this is how I work. I need to see the progress. I need to see how it's going to look and believe me or believe it or not, as I was going, I was making changes to my design. I will drop a pic of what my design, um, what I sketched out. I use the sketcher on my phone and I just sketched out something. I will drop that and let you guys see. Okay guys, we're on to the part that I hate, working with sheetrock, okay? So what I'm trying to do here is I am trying to use one sheetrock to cover the face. I went inside, I measured, and I came out and I gave him the wrong measurements. I was two inches off the measure. As you can see, the measurement is off by two inches right under the TV. That piece of um two by four should have been covered it was supposed to come out exactly to frame it so i would have less seams the less seams i have the less mudding i have to do and that's what i was trying to do based off of the experience that i had on the one that i did upstairs so here what we do what we did again is i added that one by six on the wall where the cabinet is going to mount so we're going to screw the cabinet to that one by six along with screwing it on the side to the two by four that's in the wall so before i put the cabinet in place i am measuring there's a there's a receptacle there that i do not want to have to get it moved down to the end um i don't use it as much it was being used for the lights is what is what that was getting used for i do have a lot of receptacles in this room okay so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna cut out the hole where the receptacle is located so i did that by taking the height and then the measurement of how you know where it comes off of the wall to find my location for that particular cabinet now the reason why i have two pieces of um ply on top of those cabinets is because I wanted to use the whole sheet so when I went to get it cut and I cut these top ones the bottom ones the wood was not going to be long enough so I went ahead and I cut the I cut it in two so that I can use up all of the ply because guys ply material period is very expensive right now to make what so I had to make what I have work for me so i am showing you um the drywall the drywall is up and i am going to show you just a little bit of the mudding and um i don't know where the footage is but i'm missing a footage that where i showed you guys what the end trim piece look like so the one that i actually purchased this time you have to add some mud to the wall and then apply it to the wall so that it would help it to stick um, to the wall. Okay, so what we have going on here is um, how we marked to find center for to place our lights. So we mark, I had to like mark where each light is three lights on each side. So that's kind of like self-explanatory on how to do that and it will work different for each one but you would want if you have three sections like i will you definitely would want your lights to be in the center of those three sections and after we found our center we moved back about a uh, um, quarter of an inch to drill the hole because remember the cord that comes from the lights is more on the end edge of the lights versus the center of the lights so what we're doing right now 
is he is putting up the piece of ply that goes on the front piece so after we added the lights we ran all the wire in made sure all of that was done first make sure they turned on and worked then we add we closed it off so guys i was so happy when we, i switched to using my nail gun only because that drill be like annoy me so what i'm doing is i'm adding a piece of trim to the front of the ply that's on top of the cabinets to give it a nice finished look so after i put that on there i am going to do caulking and when i caulk it and paint it so it can look seamless so now what i'm doing is i am measuring the piece of ply that is going to section off each um each cubby right I'm, so i'm going to i got these wood cut the long way at home depot because i did not want to pull out my table saw so i made them cut them the long way knowing that i can when i come home i can just use my hand saw to cut off you know whatever little piece need piece needed to be cut off some of them i try to get them to do it exact for me okay my recommendations for this part is to build this on the floor and not up how i did it so the piece of ply that you saw me add first um, where the lights are mounted to that part plus this part that i'm doing right now build that part on the floor after you build it on the floor then you can mount it up what i'm doing here is i am mounting two pieces of ply together in the center and that will create uh, more strength to the piece if this is one single ply in the middle it will be taking the weight of the two shelves on each side which would not be safe so you want to kind of sandwich two plies together in the center um, for this part now i am adding the um, moldings to it i am keeping my moldings like you know clean lines not a lot of um trimming going on with them because i want my piece to remain contemporary i don't want too much embellishments going on um if that's what you prefer if you prefer the trims that has a lot of indentations on it by all means go ahead and do it that way i wanted something that looked contemporary again my suggestion to you if you're gonna repeat this build this part on the floor so that you can use your square you can use your level and everything will be nice and square another thing i probably could have done was get a piece of ply that is the length of the shelves that i wanted mount it up on the top and mount one down to the bottom and that would have helped me out also but i'm seeing that now after the fact <laughs> those one by six that are sticking out remember i said earlier that um before i was gonna put my studs to the end of that but i had to move it in because of my vases um i'm now cutting them off so i'm cutting them off from there and i'm gonna add i now have to add a piece of trim going up on the this side to hide that gap okay the gap was too much of a wide gap for me to use caulk to hide it so i'm using that trim also for this project i use three different sizes of nails in my nail gun so you will see where i'm showing Listen, you these let me different tell sizes wall. every time Broken. i switch it up okay guys this is what i talk about when i say doing your own customization you will see a piece that looks similar like this but you normally would not see it with this cubby on the end with a vase on top of it so i'm putting a vase here that is my customization to the piece i always tell you make it your own you can copy but make it your own Look at her 
<laughs> Girl, don't go in that dirt. Really? Zyla, come out of that. Zyla, that's not yeah, playground. Okay guys, so we hang all the lights, we put all the trim up, I put crown molding up, and I put a uh, flat uh, molding to the bottom of the soffit on the top part. And I have started to do the, I already did the auto caulking, and I am now adding the paint. So I am using an enamel paint on the wood section only. And the rest of it is going to be a water-based paint. The reason why, like I always tell you, if you're doing wood, use an enamel paint. Because the wood will absorb that water. And your finish is not going to be as nice or smooth. So you want to try to use an enamel paint. Okay? So this enamel paint that I'm using is low VOC. So you don't you literally don't smell anything. And it dries pretty fast. So it's a um, bright white. I didn't have to get it mixed. I bought it is right off the shelf. So on this side, you can see where I already did the caulking and I'm about to paint. I almost forgot to um, start recording. I was like, oh snap, you're painting and you haven't recorded none of that. <laughs> so I stopped to do that for you guys. I've already did my sanding of this drywall. I hate this part. And um, yeah. So now we're just going to move on and get this sucker painted. And after it is painted, I will come back. Okay, so I'll just show you me doing one. So this is the plastic that I've left on. I'm going to take the plastic off. And then this is the sticker. Let's put it on back there. You press it really good. Then you take the, the next piece of the paper off. A little higher. Oh. Guys, I don't like this leather. It comes with extra stickers. Oh. So, the wire, let me show you. This is the wire, right? I'm not sure. But you see, like, it can end up behind. If you, I don't know if you're seeing that good. See? Like that. So when I push it up in a hole, I'm going to push it up in a hole. And then I'm just going to press it in place. Okay? Wires hidden. No wires. She's up. So I'm gonna do the rest. And then after that, I have to mark my holes to put up my glass shelves. And let there be light. So, I don't know if you guys can see it, but remember what I was telling you about painting in here a different a different tone of white and then the trims white it makes the trims pop out more like it creates this shadow yeah you can see it better on that one so yeah on the camera of course it's gonna be hard to pick up but that what I, that's what I was talking about so it's the same color of the walls and because of that, it's creating like a shadow and it's making the trim pop out even more. Okay, so what I am doing right now is I'm cleaning. The TV's not up yet, but I gotta clean. And um, so I guess I'm gonna end this video here. And the next video, oh no, I have to install the shelves. So. I don't know, that might be in this video or I might just go ahead and put it in the other video because this video is going to be kind of long. <laughs> um, but I'm about to clean and I need my noise to clean. I can't just clean, you know, with no noise. So there's no TV to give me the noise. The TV is still there and I need to clean. 
I'm just doing like a, I'm not doing a, the total clean right now. I'm doing a clean to get rid of all the dust and whatever don't belong in here, get that stuff out. And then tomorrow is when I would start installing the shelves. I was going to do them tonight, but I'm going to clean and I'll install the shelves tomorrow and I will decorate tomorrow. I don't think I'm installing the shelves tonight. I don't think so. I got a lot of cleaning to do and I need to get, I've already started. Like I'm going to mop in front here because I need to mop to see but it needs to scrape off the floor. I don't know why I didn't put the brown paper down. I thought about it, and then I was like, nah, I'm not going to need it. The lies she tell. So, yeah. Let me get to cleaning. She said she running away. 